parish and annual inspection. All right. Copy of the inspection. There's three violations. One's going to be for the window tint, 70%. It's got to be. The other one's going to be you got a right front headlight out on your brights. We'll show you that here after we're done going over the inspection. Okay. And then the last one's going to be for false log and proper use of personal vans. Like I said, you can't use personal vans once you drop off your load to return home. It's a continuation of the trip. So that's the only one that you're citing me for? Is that particular one? Got Huntsville to back to. Okay. All right. You'll need to sign down here by your, your first page, also on the second. Give it to your company within 24 hours, then they have 15 days to mail it into this address. There's that. This, this is the paper that I was telling you about if you go in there and FMCSA's website. It says right here, may a driver who drops his route, last load at a receiver's facility, use personal conveyance to return to their normal work location, home or terminal. No return to home or terminal from the dispatch trip is a continuation of the trip and therefore not, therefore cannot be considered personal conveyance. And it's got other It doesn't examples. make sense, but I mean, you're the law, so that's fine. That's not, well, a, I'm my not, trip's I finished, just, I mean, I just, but I yeah. just go off what the law says. So. No, I understand. I get it. I'm not arguing with you. I'm just like, that's it's personal conveyance. I'm not under a load. I'm going home. It's personal. No, I mean, that makes sense to me. No, but no. I understand it's the law. It is what it is. You understand what they're saying as far as continuation. If, if they allowed people to use everything that they want to say is personal, then nobody would ever have any off-duty time. Everybody would have drive time and would have more crashes, and that's what they're trying to prevent. Oh, that's this is mine. Okay. If you want to turn your brights on, and we'll step out to the front. I'll show you that headlight out. I have more crashes. Okay. <clears throat> well. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, guys. We are here doing it again. Uh, what a rough start to this load. Uh, the DOT dude, y'all heard his tone. He wasn't, he wasn't rude. He wasn't, I guess he, he could have been chippier. Chippy, chipper. He could have come, whatever, it doesn't matter. His attitude and his tone and everything he did is irrelevant because I was in the wrong. I'm admitting it now. The window tent. It's a violation. Um, I kind of knew that. You see it everywhere, though. I mean, there's probably four out of ten trucks that have window tent that I see going down the road. Uh, some of them are extremely dark. Um, some of them are just, I mean, 37% is what this violation says. So, uh, it's a little frustrating that I, I'm going to have to take it off because Landstar, apparently... I didn't know this, but Landstar does not honor uh, medical exemptions for window tint, which I don't have one. I'm trying to get one for my dermatologist because I have extremely dry skin. Uh, so whatever I could do to keep my tent so I didn't have to take it off. But Landstar doesn't care either way. Uh, just, not that they don't care. They have rules, it's their company. They're allowed to make the rules how they see fit. If they wanted to make all of our trucks yellow, we'd all have to go yellow trucks. Uh, so it's their rule. Uh, I can only be pissed off at myself for doing what I knew was wrong uh, and getting caught basically is the problem now uh so now i'm gonna have to remove the window tent on my side windows which sucks because not only does it look cool but it definitely helps with that sun beating in the window but you best believe i'm gonna get me the biggest removable sticky sheet right here uh that i can stick on there that peels and comes off whatever i've seen it um we're gonna do that so yeah anywho uh i also got popped for a headlight out that's what he was showing me in the front of the truck. So my one of my bright lights is out. Um, but whatever. I got to get it all taken care of. It is what it is. It's stuff on me. It falls on me as the driver. Uh, whether it's the truck or the trailer, I'm responsible for it. And I just have to quit making excuses, guys. I know we all tend to do it. You know, it's if, if he wouldn't have done this or wouldn't have done this, that I wouldn't be in this. Uh, it's my fault. It's I'm in the situation uh, because I put tent on my windows. And that's why he pulled me over. He said your window tent looked a little dark. So that was the reason for the initiation of the stop. And yeah, I'm just gonna have to get darker sunglasses. And I don't know, we'll get it figured out though. But we are here getting loaded in Hebron, Ohio. Dude, I had a 174 mile deadhead. Luckily this load goes through the house. Uh, speaking of the house, let me inform y'all of some PC violation rules. Okay, you are not allowed to use PC to go home even if you're empty. Uh, you are allowed 
to use PC to go from your terminal to your home and from your home to your terminal. But if you don't have a terminal, like where I park my truck, I guess would be considered my terminal. Um, you're not allowed to PC there, even if you're empty, out of hours, have plenty of hours, it doesn't matter. Um, but you are allowed to, and I've confirmed this with Landstar and the DOT officer, you are allowed to go from, if you're loaded or not loaded, you can be at a truck stop, a shipper receiver, PC to a gym, PC somewhere to get something to eat, uh, PC to Walmart because you like their bathrooms. It don't matter. And then you can PC back, truck, trailer, bobtail, it doesn't matter. Uh, and then from that point on, you would have to start your logbook back up, like legal driving hours. Uh, but according to the DOT officer, you are not allowed to PC from the last destination of your load and go to uh, your next load, which I knew that you're not allowed to you're not allowed to move forward for work. Anything work related, uh, you're not allowed to do. But my whole deal. Wow, are they they're done loading me. I got a green light already. Uh, let's speed this up. Uh, I went I delivered in Huntsville and I went back home. Uh, and I said home because that's the normal lingo I would use, but I should have said that I went to a truck stop and had somebody pick me up to go to my doctor's appointment, which I have two. Do I had two doctors on Monday, and that's what he wrote me the PC violation for, falsifying my logbook um, for those those two things, for, yeah, for not using PC correctly, improper use of it, uh, for the window tent, so it'd be three things, and then the headlight, which the headlight, not a big deal. I'm more irritated about this, the window tent, and the, the PC. But the the PC thing is so finicky. And if y'all know me, y'all know that I've talked about the the accident that I was involved in where uh, it was a fatality. The guy rear-ended me. And I almost put it on PC to finish off my hours because I wasn't going to make it there on time. Uh, which technically, I guess, would have been legal. Uh, if you run out of hours uh, due to construction or whatever, you can just keep driving and you can use the um what the unexpected situation clause whatever it's called there's a technical word for it uh basically it extends your 14 and your 11 so you can keep driving and that includes traffic bad weather uh delays at chippers receivers whatever you can do that uh but you're not allowed to pc home after your last load which i think is the dumbest it's personal i'm going home like, I want to go home. That's personal. I'm not going home to pick up a load. I, like, I PC from home or from where I park my truck. Or I, I don't PC. So I would PC home all the time. Like, that's normal. Because I'm going home. Duh. But, uh, you cannot. And then I would I would go on duty from home to my next load. Uh, but accordingly, according to the DOT and FMCSA, it is not okay because you have to... Uh, it's considered, this guy's like back here. I know he wants me to pull forward now. Um, it's considered a continuation of the trip to go from last stop to your house or to home terminal, whatever. So I gotta go put my airline back on and then uh, we're gonna get on the road, guys. All right, let's see what we got on this trailer. Cause they said it was gonna be 42,000 and some change, but it's only 35,000. Now slide them old tandems to the back. Unhook the door. Oh. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We're going to slide panels all the way to the front. Because that makes sense. We have a nice seal here. Yay. All right, we're going to set that down. Well, hook it right there. That looks like a good spot, doesn't it? All right, climb up here. Okay. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Can we do this with one hand, guys? What do y'all think? Let's try this here. Let's go right there. Ooh, we might get her done. <laughs> Make sure we go to the same one. Right, chow? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, crap. How do you do this with one hand? We're going to hold the camera and then do that. Yes. Look at that smarter than the average bear <laughs> no I'm not that's why I got violations because I'm a dummy don't <laughs> with old red foreman Ugh. all right let's put that one there 
Let's try this again. I got too excited about the first one. Let's just be more difficult now. Same thing. Hold it with the camera and action. Oh, beautiful. I don't even know what this stuff is. It's not hazmat, I know that. There's no UN numbers on it. La 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 la. No, wait. Let's get on the road, guys. Let's go uh, to the truck stop to have somebody pick us up because we can't stay home anymore. Not allowed to go home. <laughs> Stupid stuff. I literally didn't know the rule on that. because uh, Well, I knew that you could not go home. And he gave me some paperwork on frequently asked questions, which I don't care. I want the actual rule. I don't want an answer to a question. I want to know what the rule says itself. So I'm going to do that. I hate these stupid things. I don't hate them. I just, this is pointless. And then they're a pain in the butt to cut. Come on, one-handed. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. There we go. Let's start wearing my head cam more. Boom, problem solved. Cause that's dumb. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna slide these old girls back to the front and then get on the road. what you are to me. Well, we are stopped for the night and uh, I figured while I'm here, I might as well take off the tent. I took off the, off this window and you can still, there's still some pieces I gotta pull off. Uh, so I'm gonna take off this, this other one here. And I'm hoping it peels off just like the other one did real easy. Oh. Ugh. This could be a little more difficult than I want it to be. Yay. We're gonna leave a little string right there, aren't we? The stuff is difficult to get off. I'm surprised this came off as easy as it has. Get this off, maybe I can pull it all down. Apparently that part is stuck very well, so. <sighs> we shall see what we can what else we can pull off. with my proof I took it off oh yeah maybe I'll pull it up that way oh, that's good. yay 
No. This stuff stinks. <laughs> off. Let's see how easy this comes off. Apparently I didn't put it on very good. I'm not a professional tent guy. But that works out at this point, doesn't it? Not being a pro, that is. Why are you so difficult? I guess it's not really that difficult. I'm sure if it was put on professionally, it would not be doing this. Wow. Anyway, I'm gonna get the rest of this off, guys. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to fix some wiring on the headlights. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. And I will see you guys later on. So we parked here at the old Wally World last night in good old Pulaski, Tennessee. Oh my goodness. Uh, we can go right up here and turn left, turn right, and we're there. Just the plan. Double turn lane, but nothing goes straight. Oh. I like the color of that Acadia, or Denali, whatever that is, that GMC right there.
last night. But I didn't realize there was a gate blocking this facility, so. Kinda. Had no choice to turn around, shipping and receiving. So that's good. I can tell you one thing I'm not gonna do again. Let's take the back roads. <laughs> At least in this video, right? I'm all the time winding up on some back road. <laughs> That's all good, though. Google Maps, this gate is not there, and it's open all the way to the big dirt lot. And I was like, oh, perfect. There's plenty of room for me to park it. Oh, there's a hole there. Four, two, one, eight, three, five. Drop it off. Got it does. I can tell you when I find it. Uh, it's on here somewhere. I believe. I think it's eight one three six five two. Eight one three. Okay. Stop. Walk into the right. Down there, there's the propane tanks and the blue door. Make some paperwork in there and they'll tell you what doctor you're on. All righty. They have bolt cutters for seals? Yes, sir. Awesome. Thank you. Easy enough. This place is packed. I didn't realize there was That's where the docks were. check in guys and gals if you had a website honey well I know what it would be www.beautiful that's what you are to me long blonde hair and big blue eyes that smile knock me off my feet www.beautiful that's what you are to me well, I know you're not a movie star up on that silver screen. You weren't born with a silver spoon, you ain't got a lot of money. When you flash those baby blues in them skin tight blue jeans, my heart falls down to my knees, I pick my eyes back up to see. And if you had a website, honey, well, I know what it would be www.beautiful that's what you are to me long blonde hair and big blue eyes that smile knock me off my feet www.beautiful that's what you are to me Just look deep down inside and I find a love that's true. A big warm heart with a gentle touch, that's all this man will need. www.beautiful, that's what you are to me. Well, I know you're not a movie star up on that silver screen. 
You weren't born with a silver spoon, you ain't got a lot of money. When you flash those baby blues in them skin tight blue jeans, my heart falls down to my knees, I pick my eyes back up to see. And if you had a website... Or empty, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, buddy. Y'all know what time it is now. It's home time. Actually, it's uh, time to go home to work on a truck. <laughs> oh, I got straps in there. Oh, y'all, this seal is a disaster to get off. We made it work. I don't know why they didn't take it with them, but whatever. We can do that. We'll toss it. We got a uh, scrapyard up there, C&H truck and parts something a truck and trailer it's a uh, used truck parts out of as I was saying before my camera rudely died on me uh, they're CNH truck and equipment truck trailer equipment it's a used truck parts scrapyard that's in Westmoreland Tennessee they got room for your truck to get in there truck and trailer turn around uh, the guy in there Matthew solid guy uh, I bought a lot of parts from him you know the stuff the dealer wants three four hundred bucks or uh, you can pick them up for less than 100 bucks, which is really nice. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go get a few parts for the truck and I gotta fix the headlight, obviously. Um, I got a couple other lights that I need to work on and just take care of a few things in here. So the tent's gone. I don't know how y'all like that, but it is what it is. Until uh, next time, guys, let your family know you love them. Thank you so much for uh, riding with me. And we will see you guys down the road. Make sure you give God all the glory. Seek his face. And uh, love one another. Carry a weapon. You are your first responder. Thank a veteran. And we'll see you guys down the road. Y'all be safe out there. Love you guys.